Good evening and welcome to Team Talk. I'm Harry Pete. Here's a look at tonight's lineup. Jill's announced who's staying and who's going for next season. Tom Bosworth breaks another British record and Tammy Beaumont gets an England call up. But first tonight, we're edging closer to finding out Gillingham's squad for the new season after their retained and released list was announced. Here's Keelan Webster with all the details. After weeks of waiting, Jill's fans now know which squad players from last season won't be playing a part under AD Pennock for the upcoming campaign. Eight players have been released, including young centre-half Mitchell Dickinson, midfielder and former goal of the season winner Emmanuel Osadebi, as well as ex-Charlton player Ollie Muldoon. Zesh Remen, Henry Newcomb, Chris Hurd, Rory Donnelly and Ryan Jackson were the other players not to have their deals renewed. New contracts have been awarded to four Jills players though. Promising youngster Greg Cunder has been given a chance. Pacey winger Elliot List featured heavily in the early parts of Pennock's reign and has also been kept on. Josh Parker scored one of Gillingham's most important goals of the season against Port Vale and has been rewarded with a new contract. And finally, there's also a deal on the table for club legend Cody McDonald after he scored 12 goals last campaign. Both Billy Knott and Stuart Nelson have been transfer listed by Adrian Pennock, so now we await to see who Peter Taylor brings in to replace those that have now left Priestfield. An update on the cricket now, and Kent have drawn a county championship game for the first time this season. Rain affected the opening two days of the match with Leicestershire, and some impressive batting from both sides meant a draw was soon inevitable. Leicestershire, Leicestershire were all out for 420 in their first innings, with the wickets shared amongst Kent's bowlers. In response, Cade, Kent made 462 for nine and declared thanks to quick fire century from Darren Stevens before late 50s, 50s courtesy of James Treadwell and Matt Coles. Kent picked up 12 points from the draw and remain unbeaten in this season's county championship. And staying with cricket, Kent players Laura Marsh and Tammy Beaumont have been included in the England squad for the upcoming Women's World Cup. Tammy is the current Kent, Kent captain and we spoke to her last month as she was optimistic about how far the England side could go. Yeah, it's a really exciting season for us. We've uh, got a home World Cup. That's kind of a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. So uh, I don't necessarily want to put too many numbers on it, but you know, I'd love to contribute to England women winning games of cricket. Um, and I think you know, as as much as we're not favourites to win this competition, we'd love to get to Lords. And then on the day, it's it's anyone's game to win a World Cup final. In athletics now, Seven Oaks race walker Tom Bosworth broke another British record at the weekend. Tom recorded the highest ever placing by a British athlete in the European Race Walking Cup after finishing fourth in the men's 20k race on Sunday. The event in the Czech Republic was the first for the Kent athlete since returning from a training camp in the United States. Tom was also joined by fellow GB athletes Cameron Cobbishley, Callum Wilkinson and Dominic King as they claimed fourth place overall in the team competition. German Christoph Linker won the race in 79 minutes and 28 seconds, with Bosworth clocking a time of 81 minutes and 22 seconds. In hockey, Holcomb's Dan Fox picked up the big prize at England Hockey End of Season Awards at the weekend. Fox won the Player of the Year award for his efforts with the Medway side this season. The defender led Holcomb to a second place finish in the Men's Hockey League this season and helped them reach the playoff finals. Fox announced his retirement from international hockey last year after representing Great Britain at the Olympics in London and also in Rio in 2016. And in boxing, Maidstone will be hosting no less than seven of Kent's professional fighters at the weekend. The event dubbed Maidstone Mayhem will be at the Moat Park on Saturday and will see some of Kent's best boxers go head to head. Headlining the bill will be the Southern Area title fight between featherweights Martin Hillman and Jamie Spate. Unbeaten fighters Dave Jones, Charlie Shane and Lewis Green will all be in action as they look to build their reputations in the boxing world. Tickets are still available for the event and coverage will be on next week's episode of Team Talk. And just before we go, let's have a look at the results of our first goal of the season semi-final. It was an incredibly tight tussle between the top three of the four goals, but this Dave Tarpey strike versus Maidenhead versus Dartford was the winner with 34% of the goals. He's joined in the final by Carshelton Athletics' Tommy Bradford, who, as you can see here, has this goal against Chatham, which received 33% of the votes. A great team goal there. And a lovely finish to round it all off. Good square pass, team goal, finish, and that's got himself in the final. So those two strikes, as we said, made it into the final. And let's have a look at our next four contenders in the second of our goal of the season semi-finals.
First up is April's Goal of the Month winner. Jordan Clark is the goal scorer for Corinthian Casuals as he netted this cracking opener in a 5-0 rout against Hythe. Goal B is a long-range stunner from Faversham Town's George Munger in a Kent derby against Chatham. This goal put them 2-1 up on their way to a 4-1 victory. Up next is a perfectly executed lob from Tunbridge Angels' Damien Scannell in a win against Canby Island. Angels ended the season just outside the playoffs, but this was certainly a goal to remember. And finally, goal D is this stunning set piece from Folkestone Invictors' Sam Hasler as they defeated Haven to Waterlooville. Were they better than Emre Chan's Premier League goal this season? You can decide by heading over to our Twitter page at KM underscore Team Talk and you can vote out of all of those by picking your favourite using our Twitter poll. That's all and you can find out the winner next week. So that's all from us tonight. Have a good week. Good night. <laughs>